We want to get right to that breaking news overnight. No one is hurt after a house fire in the village of Harrison. And we have some new information. Kristen Allen is live out in Harrison right there. So what are you seeing? What's happening right now, Kristen? Well, you can see the home here behind me and uh, what it looks like this morning. It is pretty charred. So if you take a look, you can see the home here uh, behind me, surrounded by some police tape here this morning. This fire started about 10 o'clock last night, and this home is under construction. So there wasn't anyone living in it at the time. There were no injuries. You can see there's construction supplies that I can see in the back and uh, a dumpster out here. So. Uh, firefighters say when they arrived last night that there was a lot of uh, flames coming from the home and they were spreading very rapidly as well. And firefighters say that this home was built using a particular kind of uh, construction that posed a potential hazard for collapse. So firefighters did not go inside to attempt to put the fire out, but instead um, fought the fire from the outside. And as I'm standing here looking at it right now, I can see some smoldering happening inside of what's left of the frame and also coming out of the top as well. But firefighters were here for a while last night. There were about uh, 10 departments total, including Harrison, a fire department here working to put out the fire. There were not any injuries to firefighters or anyone else uh, during this fire, and they say that it is still under investigation as to what caused it. Reporting live in Harrison, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News. Okay, Kristen, and in first alert traffic, we want to show you exactly where this is going on. So it's just north of Highway 10, which is, of course, just north of Lake Winnebago. This is a residential neighborhood, Delta Drive, where the fire happened. And then you can see Edgewood and Highland Court kind of the, on the north side of that half circle there. The, that area was closed. It is now back open so people in that neighborhood can get off to work and school pretty easily. We want to